The Honorable Member for Edmonton Culver. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In my last member statement, I made reference to a new clinic that is currently short, not of doctors, but of patients. The organization behind this, and who I introduced earlier, is the Oliver Primary Care Network. This PCN serves well over 100,000 Edmontonians and had 171,000 patient interactions last year. This is certainly a statistically valid sampling, Mr. Speaker, and it shows some remarkable results. Of the 171,000 interactions, 87 percent of those people saw a doctor as soon as necessary, and even more impressive, 94 percent of them saw their own doctor. Equally interesting, Mr. Speaker, is the ability of a patient to feel confident in their ability to manage their own conditions. Persons receiving care in many areas, including mental health, dietitians, chronic disease management, INR, and kinesthesiology, showed that well over 70 percent of them believed that they had learned enough from PCN staff to manage their own condition. Overall, each of the five programs, self-rating of good, very good, and excellent, account for 75 to 95 percent of patient responses. My favorite metric, Mr. Speaker, and the one I think best describes this PCN's goal, is the reduction in medication error when transitioning from hospital to home. A PCN pharmacist is available to ensure that the patients take the right medication at the right time. This arrangement proves, Mr. Speaker, that the PCN model is the right way to deliver services, and I'm going to give them a slogan. We know who you are, and we know what you need. And while it's not, it's all in Calder, it certainly tells people why it's all in Calder. And many people who reside in my constituency are older and typically not in as good a health as the average population, making my constituency a prime place for the delivery of this health care model. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank Colleen and her associates today for the exceptional level of service they bring to my constituency and elsewhere. Thank you.